First, you will cut all of your plywood panels to size. You may use a table saw, a circular saw, or a jigsaw, cutting all the panels to your predetermined sizes. I find that cutting the smaller panels is much easier with a jigsaw. However, be sure that you do not get the power cord caught or entangled to allow smooth movement of the saw. It's very important to keep all of your panels properly labeled, not only with the dimensions, but if you are building more than one case, which case the panel belongs to, and what part of the case the panel is. Be sure to write on the side of the wood that is not being laminated, and keep your panels neatly organized. Now it's time to cut our pieces of ABS and laminate them to our pre-cut wood panels. The ABS plastic sheet ships rolled up in a tube or a box depending on the quantities that you order. You will use your pre-cut panels as templates for cutting your ABS. Each panel will have a piece of ABS that corresponds exactly to it and then you will laminate each one of those pieces of ABS to each panel of wood. Use an X-Acto knife or some other type of sharp razor knife to score the ABS as you cut around the panel, which is your template. It may take more than one pass depending on the sharpness of your knife. After you have cut all of the pieces of ABS, they may have a little bow to them from being shipped if you didn't have a chance to lay them out flat prior to cutting. Simply roll them in the opposite direction gently as to not cause any creases in the ABS so that they will lay flat. Then take a lint-free cloth and be sure to clean the smooth, non-hair cell finish side and clean your wood as well to make sure there's no debris or particles that could cause problems with your laminating. Now you are ready to apply our laminating adhesive. After allowing the adhesive to get tacky for approximately a minute or two, carefully align the ABS onto the wood and smooth it out with your hands. Then take a damp, lint-free cloth or even a dry erase board eraser and smooth out the ABS, applying pressure generously over the ABS. Then take our J roller or some type of a laminate roller and apply a considerable amount of pressure in all directions on top of the ABS, purging any air bubbles that may exist between the ABS and the wood and also forming a perfect bond between the adhesive on the wood and the ABS. You should do this for about two to three minutes per piece, depending on the size. It's best to laminate all of your panels at the same time because the next step has to do with applying pressure to the panels. You would want to start off with your smaller panels on the bottom and work your way up to the largest panels on top. Try to get them all together if you can, but you may have to make two separate stacks. Then take a piece of large wood, preferably three quarter inch, that is larger than any of the panels and place it on top of the stack. Then put something with a good amount of weight on top like this 40 pound bag of salt or cinder blocks or anything else that has a lot of weight. 
Our favorite option here is to clamp the panels to the table that you have them sitting on or clamp them all together between two pieces of wood. However you want to do it is fine as long as the largest piece on top is bigger than anything underneath. Tighten down the clamps and leave this set for 24 hours. It doesn't really matter what the sizes of panels are. If you don't do all your panels at the same time, that's fine. If they're smaller panels, no problem. Even panels this size. Just make sure that the piece of wood that's on top is larger than the panels underneath and follow the same directions.